What's going on, y'all? I'm here to talk about not only Decidueye, but if you look on screen, Hisuian Decidueye. So the format's gonna be a bit messed up in these videos because I'm gonna be covering like two different evolutionary lines or two different uh, documentation styles in one video. But the reason I'm covering both Decidueyes in the same video is because they have the exact same abilities. Uh, obviously their typing is different and their move pools are a little bit different and all that stuff. Uh, and that obviously has like important implications that I'll get into, but in terms of the way they play, it is extremely similar. Even their signature Spirit Shackle versus Triple Arrows function very similarly. Um, so that's why I'm covering them together. Uh, if you're new here and this is your first video of mine you're clicking on, I appreciate you clicking. Shout out to you. Uh, make sure you pause the video and read the description. I've got a bullet point list explaining all of the basic information about the ROM hack and the way it's balanced and why it's balanced the way it is. So definitely give that a read. It's very important. Uh, one of the most important things you can check out if you haven't already when you're done with the video is look at the move guide. I have every single move in the game categorized in great detail and all these different archetypes and stuff. So it's easy to understand all the changes I've made because uh, the moves are the backbone of this entire ROM hack. So yeah, with all that being said, uh, Rowlet, Thartrix, Decidueye, and then obviously assuming decidueye so the main difference is, is clearly the typing right the stats are a bit different but so they're both like okay for example um normal decidueye is is slightly faster right and and much frailer on the physical side uh however and it's also more of a mixed attacker, while Hisuian Decidueye is technically still a mixed attacker, but much less powerful on the special side. While Hisuian is, is uh, sorry, uh, normal Decidueye, or lowland Decidueye, I guess I'll call it, um, is is not is not mixed. I mean, sorry, is fully mixed, is a fully mixed attacker. Um, so one of the cool things here is, so all of them have Unburdened, Gilbings, and Expertise, right? So Expertise, I chose flavor-wise because they are, you know, Expert, Arrow, Archers, whatever. Um, at some point, I wanted them to have Technician... Uh, but there is other, uh, so Hisui and Decidueye couldn't have Technician because of Breloom being the same type combo and having, you know, Technician and I just don't want to have that type of overlap and, and whatever, it seems really boring and lame to me. So I try to avoid that as, as much as I can. So no Technician for these guys, uh, unlike, so they're actually much different than they have in Swelt they were at Sweltering Sun. They don't share a single ability than they had, that they had in Sweltering Sun. Uh, and Spirit Shackle is also totally reworked from Sweltering Sun. And there are tons and tons of new moves. So even though, even if you are like a dedicated, you know, watcher of mine, you already know how they work in Sweltering Sun, whatever, it doesn't really change the fact that, uh, you know, this, they're much different. That goes for all, all types of Pokemon uh, that I'm revisiting in this. I mean, I'm revisiting every Pokemon, right? So uh, a lot of them are going to be much different. And this is a good example of that because, yeah, all three of the abilities are completely different from Sweltering. So Unburden is great. They are slower than they were in Sweltering, but I gave them much more special defense. So I can even pull up the... If you look on screen, I can even pull up like the Sweltering version. I'm not going to use the Deus Ex because it's... Um, I just use this because it's quicker and I already know all the shit. If you're watching this and you made it to this point, use the fucking Deus Dex, man. I only use this because I know all the shit that the Deus Dex offers already because I made it. <laughs> but if you, if you, you know, otherwise this has big disadvantages. Anyway, um, yeah, so you can compare the stats. It's much frailer, but it's also much faster. However, the speed doesn't matter as much, number one, when you have a priority spirit shackle, tons of other priority, and you have gale wings and unburden. So you have a signature move that works really well with expertise that is priority, and you have two other abilities that make you faster. So that's the reason I chose to not make them as fast. Obviously, the speed is still a rel is important, especially if you're running like expertise plus choice scarf. Um, that goes for Hisuian as well. So the, the 88 versus 98 speed is very insignificant, I would say, in an in-game context when you're not guaranteed a plus speed nature and max speed IVs anyway. Um, if it was competitive, then yeah, the 10 base speed is a huge difference. But in-game, it's not really a big difference, especially because if you need to outspeed something, you have two ability slots and tons of priority moves with that, for that very purpose, right? So it's not really a big deal if you can't outspeed something with Scarf. And again, the, spar the Scarf speed tiers with base 88 versus base 98 speed is very, very, like, they both outspeed pretty much everything in the game anyway. So it's not a big deal at all. Um, so you can argue Hisuian has better stat distribution, but that doesn't really, like, stats are probably the least important thing in this ROM hack. Abilities, moves, all that stuff, the synergies between those things, that's much more important. Um, but yes, Hisuian is wise bulkier overall. I mean, it's 95-95 uh, bulk versus 65-100 bulk. They both have a, you know, solid HP stat of 73 with investment. So if you need them to be tanky, they can be, you know, he's got stuff like Strength Sap, and early on they've got, like, Leech Seed and all this other crap they can always abuse, you know, Will-O-Wisp, other utility stuff. Um, it's a fun fact, these guys went through a lot of different iterations. At some point I had them plan to have Tactical Retreat, but I changed it to Gale Wings because I think Gale Wings is actually pretty sick um, in a ROM hack like this because I was kind of hating on it because it, it only works on full HP, right? So I was thinking it's kind of mid, but it's actually pretty damn great. Um, 
because of the fact that it's pretty easy to stay full HP in an in-game context. All you have to do is just pivot smartly. You know, you have switch moves on every Pokemon for the most part that you can use. You have um, a single use of check button per boss fight, so you can do that to switch in to get your Gale Wings HP full. And if you're a regular Decidueye, you can even switch in on a uh, fighting or normal move to keep your HP full as well. So all of those things will let you keep your Gale Wings intact. And that means, although the fact you, you don't get stab on flying, right? I, first off, I will say, if you get Terra flying on this thing, it goes so insane because a lot of their level up moves are balanced around the fact that flying isn't stab on them, right? That's why they get the Gale Wings stuff even earlier than like something like, I don't know, Corviknight would, for example, um, or Braviary or whatever, you know, other Gale Wings ones. Um, because, you know, it's not stab, so it's, it's significantly less powerful. But I would say, that, first of all, the main important thing is, so number one, if you get if you do get Terra Flying, it's great. Number two, Dartrix is actually, you know, gets stab on the Gale Wings moves. So you could, in theory, keep Dartrix past 36 if you wanted to. It has a completely different type combo than the other two. So that has its own defensive utility that it offers, right? Different resistances, different type interactions, and then um, which could be useful depending on the boss fight upcoming, whatever. You could at least delay the evolution, I think. You also get, like, stab, dual wing beat, 135 base power. So despite only being... 77 77 offenses which is already more than serviceable um you're getting that huge technician boost on early moves like the wing beat and fury pecs and bullet seed with loaded dice and all this other crazy stuff uh priority moves like gustly flurry seed shot etc and aerial ace um, those are your stat priorities so those are really good even first impression is technician boosted so yeah you totally could keep dartrix uh, up uh, as long as you want uh would be very fun um you know, if you like Dartrix a lot. I personally don't like his design very much. I prefer Zoe and Decidueye the most out of the three, probably. Uh, but, you know, if you like Dartrix, you can totally keep him. Um, it's got some good bulk, too. So, yeah. Uh, Gale Wing's great. I mean, it's really strong because I would say the most important thing, as you can read on screen, is that Sky Attack, right? Sky Attack is a, if you run Power Herb plus Gale Wings, you get a priority 180 base power move, essentially. Um priority 180 base power move so you can one shot something and then you also get plus one attack so you can then click other fl uh, flying type moves after for example dive bomb because so dive bomb is flying type high jump kick right however sky attack on top of the attack boost also gives you accuracy so you can then not miss your dive bombs and dive bomb is level 35 so the second you get like sky attack you go crazy uh and of course before you get sky attack you can do stuff like wide lens dive bomb gale wings uh which is cool because it's like a 130 power priority move uh and then you can also do like acrobatics um, Brave Bird is not very good with Gil Wings because you're taking damage, so you're only using it once, so that's not ideal. Uh, Aeroblast, that's very strong, however, it can't be used twice in a row. You have to keep that in mind, but it is 120 power overall. It's a, it's a crit move, so it's 80 power. Always crits, so you could do that, but it, again, can't be used twice in a row. So you can't do like Choice Specs, Gil Wings, Aeroblast, for example, but you can do Choice Ban, Gil Wings, Dual Wing Beat, for example, and that's great, especially because it breaks Focus Sashes. So, I mean, especially if you've got Terra Flying, then it goes ex extra crazy, but even if not, it's still pretty good. Um, you also got, like, you, you know, Air Slash, Specs, Gale Wings, Hurricane, Wildlands, Gale Wings, Tailwind, Gale Wings, Eject Button is great. You can, uh, you know, take the hit, get the Tailwind off before they hit you, and then get the pivot out into one of your other Pokemon to abuse the Tailwind for the full three turns, I guess, in singles. It would be three turns after the first turn, so it's pretty good. Um... Expertise is great for utility and for offense. Again, it's flavor-wise. I chose it because of the whole archer thing going on. Uh, I opted not to give them no guard anymore because they just don't have any moves to abuse it with anymore. Uh, Grass Whistle isn't in Scarlet and Violet. Uh, Infernal Parade is no longer how it works in Sweltering Sun. Seed Flare is now 100% accurate. It's, it's, it's a recoil move now instead of an inaccurate move. So there's literally nothing. Like The only benefit... The only moves here that benefit from no guard would be Hurricane, Triple Axel, Focus Blast... And I think that's literally it. It's very underwhelming. Very, very underwhelming ability on them. But none of those are stab, right? So it's just it's very mid. Um, as cool as uh, an Ogard is on paper, flavor-wise, it's pretty cool. So yeah, um, I guess I need to cover their tri signature moves. So for Triple Arrows and uh, Spirit Shackle are both now... So if, you, if you're familiar with my hacks and Scrambled Scarlet specifically, you'll know there's moves like... Uh, what's it called? There are moves like Snipe Shot and Pyroball and other, like... Uh, high base power uh, signature type moves, exclusive type moves that are priority. Um, so they're all 50 base power and they crit, right? However, the, 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 the caveat there is that they are pretty much all boosted by the Pokemon's abilities. Like a lot of them, uh, the Snipe Shot guys have like Ruthless or Mega Launch or Technician, for example, which makes it essentially a 112.5 base power priority move, which is much, much, much stronger. Um, and in this case, you have Expertise, which is only a 25% boost 
which makes it roughly 90 percent 90 base power however triple arrows has the unique effect and that it now always drops defense so as you can read it's essentially a hundred base power priority move the downside is that you can't use that twice in a row so what it means is you can't slap on a choice band on your decidui excuse me can't slap on a choice band on your decidui and just go to town like spamming triple hours all day right that's pretty brainless you can click it once and you know get a kill especially on like a focus slash mod it's very very strong in that regard um but you can't uh you have to switch out after that if you're running a choice item if you're running a, a you know any other boosting item or utility item or whatever then you have to switch moves, which, you know, maybe you'll have to switch out at that point if you're slower than the next Pokemon that comes in naturally and you're not running, like, Unburdened or Gale Wings. So regardless, most of the time, you'll be using Triple Arrows and then switching. Uh, triple Kick is also great, especially for Unburdened sets. That's a 90 base power move overall. It hits three times. It's very strong. Nice, consistent option. Uh, it's weaker than stuff like Takedown and CC, uh, but it, and, and, you know, stuff like Superpower, obviously, but it has the benefit of hitting multiple times and having no drawback at all, while all, the, all those other moves have drawbacks. Um, so that's good. You know, it helps with unburdened sets, breaking focus sash and stuff. Um, I guess I didn't give them... No, I gave them pummel. Never mind. I was going to say no pummel, but it's right there. So yeah, loaded dice, pummel, wallop, fury swipes, pin missile, bullet seeds, stuff like that is pretty good on both of them uh, for some points in the game, especially on dart tricks because of technician. Um, Overgrows also might seem useless, but it does have some uses because of the fact that technician only boosts 60 power and below, while with movie learner... You know, teaching a 90 base power seed bomb or an 80 base power grass pledge or 95 base power energy ball or even if you're keeping dark tricks later into the game you know stuff like leaf storm and seed flare and shit is really good with overgrow because um you can run like endure salak berry for example get the overgrow boost and then one shot something with that overgrow boosted move also this is the wrong music I forgot to press loop. There we go. Okay, so now we're looping the, the key town. But yeah, uh, Chloroblast is incredibly powerful with Unburden. Unburden in general is heavily reworked. I should have covered this earlier in the video, but there's just so much to talk about with these guys. Um, Unburden, essentially, as you can read, it, it, it works best with Quick Claw, but it also works with tons of other moves and items. Um, but the easiest way to abuse it is Quick Claw. But I would say the second best way to abuse Unburden... Well, I wouldn't say Quick Claw is the best way to abuse Unburden. It's just the easiest. It's the easiest. It takes the least amount of thought and effort. However, with Item Claws, you might want to use your Quick Claw on somebody else, right? Um, so Endure, I would say, is the strongest way to abuse Unburden in an in-game context because it's so easy. Like, being 1 HP does not matter at all if you're not taking hits, right? And if you're in an in-game context, you can ensure that you're safe by using Endure. You know, you can switch out when you're when you're threatened by something that has a priority move or whatever. Otherwise, Endure Laichi Berry on Burden is insanely strong. Um, get plus one attack, plus two speed, you're going crazy. You can also do less Pattaya Berry, you know, for a special attack. So both very, very strong. You can even do like Giga Drain crap if you really want to heal or Mega Drain even. Mega Drain is healing you more than Giga Drain does. Um, but, you know, it's a bit niche. Uh, I wouldn't really bother healing with Unburden. I would just go with raw damage, you know, coverage, whatever, just trying to get kills. Because that's kind of the point of Unburden. You could do some utility. You know, it, it's a very flexible way. You can even do utility Unburden stuff like Will-O-Wisp and Strength Zap and Haze and all this other crap that you can definitely take advantage of for certain boss fights if you need it. Um, it's all there as an option. So, yeah, uh, Unburden, very good ability. Uh, makes up for the, you know, the speed being not as, as fast as you might want it to be, but it, that's that's why I gave them Unburden. And then also flavor-wise, I think it makes enough sense. Like, they're these kind of owls. They, they can fly around quickly, whatever. Uh, they seem like relatively agile Pokemon. So, yeah. And then Gilwings, I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, it's funny. I actually thought Hisuian Decidueye was flightless, but I looked it up and he does fly. So I, I let him have Gilwings as well. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Tailwind is good. I, I covered all the Gilwings options already for the most part, all the important ones. The most important being that Sky Attack is just incredibly powerful. Um, that's the main incentive for late game Gilwings usage. But regardless, it, you know, with the fact that you have infinite movie liner, infinite item customizability, EV spread customizability, you can definitely take advantage of all three abilities here, despite the fact that Expertise is like the most straightforward boosting ability and, you know, utility ability. Unburden and Gilwings are great for speed, so that's all really fun. Um, as for the bulk, I mean, I just wanted them to be mixed and fast, and the only really place that made sense to drop was Defense on Decidueye, because it just doesn't seem very tanky on the physical side anyway. Um, and then Hisuian can be bulkier just based on their design. It makes sense for them to be physically bulkier than normal Decidueye. Um, but they are, again, much uh, 20 points less special attack. So that's definitely a big thing. Uh, Chloroblast, I didn't cover this yet. Chloroblast is crazy with Unburdened specifically. Um, Chloroblast essentially lets you um, get a plus one special attack boost on top of a 135 power move in exchange for half of your HP. So you can use Quick Claw, Chloroblast, Unburden switch in on something, take very little damage or even no damage, or hard, you know, pivot in, whatever. Get your Dishu Dry in safely, 
above 50% HP, which is not hard to do. Uh, click, Chloroblast. It's even good on Hisuian because of just how strong of a move Chloroblast is now. Um, but it's even better on normal Decidueye, obviously, because it's got higher special attack. So what you can do is you can click Chloroblast. It's level 65 for a reason, right? It's at the very end of the game because it's just so strong. Um, oh, I didn't cover Spirit Shackles accuracy boost either. But yeah, Chloroblast. Um... Quick Claw, boom, get plus one special attack, you Oko something, and now you have plus two speed, plus one special attack. So it's kind of like Sky Attack in that regard, with Gale Wings, it's a similar uh, concept. So, all very, very cool. Um, and then flavor-wise, Chloroblast, I mean, even like Rowlet and Dartrix talk about like absorbing energy from the sun and stuff. And you know, most flying, most uh, grass types make sense to learn it, I would say. Most, not all, but most. Um, <clears throat> what else? Spirit Shackles. So Spirit Shackles is the same exact thing as Triple Arrows, but instead of dropping defense, uh, it, it uh, gives you plus one accuracy, which is kind of cool to make up for the fact that no guard is gone. It's very niche, but I would say the accuracy boost is best for stuff like Dive Bomb, Hurricane, Triple Axle, Focus Blast, right? So it's kind of a cute little, you know, oh, I can click Triple Arrows and then, sorry, I can click Spirit Shackle and then land a coverage move after the fact. You know, it's just a little, I, I figured I may as well. It felt it, Mostly because I felt like the, Spirit Shackles feel so much less cool compared to Triple Arrows, right? Because Triple Arrows drops defense, and Spirit Shackle doesn't really make much sense to do that. Uh, and obviously, Spirit Shackle traps the opponent, but that doesn't really uh, doesn't matter at all for the player. It's more of the AI being scary against you, because the AI is not going to hard switch out anyway. So Spirit Shackle's effect there is pretty useless. So I figured, give it accuracy. The concept there can be that like they're kind of taking time to aim in. By the way. If you never read the move descriptions on the uh, the move guide, I would definitely do that because it gives the signature moves a lot more like cool flavor, and the in-game descriptions are going to be even better for the most part. So like the full descriptions of the moves are never listed on the on the main dues decks part, right? The main changes because I don't have room for it. There's just no point in me listing out the description of the move, so I just list out the effect. Um, like Spirit Shackle, it says like the situation aims in, you know, it tightens its focus, which is cool to give you an accuracy boost. So, yeah. Um, that's about it, man. Obviously, you've got your good old, like, widespread, you know, Draco Meteor type variants like Frenzy Plant, Shadow Force, Leaf Storm, Spectral Beam. Uh, and then Decidueye has Superpower instead of the physical uh, Shadow Force. So, those are all really good uh, for the player. Just, you know, strong 140 power. You can also use those with White Herb and Unburden. Um, and you can also use the other options. For example, White Herb, Unburden in conjunction with. Or even just like quick claw on burden and then you can use the other ones because you're a mixed attacker for example you can click physical frenzy plant and then kill the next mom with a leaf storm or a spectral beam on the special side uh, so that's all really good not to mention you have uh, crit moves in the form of astral storm so you can do like a spectral beam into an astral storm later on in the game which will crit through the drop from spectral beam seed flare gives you some you know strong recoil option pretty good it's about it man uh growth is obviously nice for earlier on before you get sd and nasty pod if you want to go that setup route which is obviously very good with Unburden. So yeah, I appreciate you've admitted to the end, guys. I really do. I know this is a longer one, but that's just the nature of covering. I mean, Jesus, can't believe you wanted me to do Typhlosion in one video. It'd be impossible. It'd be like a 25-minute video. But yeah, uh, a couple other like little interactions and niche moves and stuff that you can... Not even niche, just, just cool moves that you can pause the video and just look for yourself because I don't have time to cover every little coverage move I gave them, for example. But yeah. Make sure you give the Google Sheet a, give the Google Sheet a look. Comment down below if you haven't already. Uh, it helps me out a lot. Even like early game, like Feather Dance, Gale Wings is great, you know? So cool stuff like a Feather Ball, dropping attack and special attack. That's all really good with Gale Wings. So yeah, Roost uh, doesn't really work, never mind, because it's a full HP. But yeah, thanks for listening. I'll be back for more coming up, y'all. Peace.